Hello and welcome to Big Dash Knows. Big Dash Knows what? New York Giants football. Let's go. You see the thumbnail. You see the thumbnail. That's all everybody is talking about. Will the Giants draft a quarterback? But before we get into that topic, I want to thank everybody. The channel is growing. If you're a Giants fan, like I'm a Giants fan, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. The channel is growing and it's all because of you. Now back to this whole quarterback situation. Now, obviously, the New York Giants hold the sixth pick in the draft. And normally, that would be a fantastic pick to have. Top 10 pick, fantastic pick to have. But when you think about it, especially if you are in the camp of wanting a quarterback, you're in pretty much no man's land. Like no man's land when you think about it. You're, you know, you're back far enough that the top three prospects at quarterback might be gone by the time that you get to pick six. Um, and then also, you know, it costs you a lot of money to move up. I think the sweet spot for the New York Giants, if they were to move up, would be like the, to number four. You could probably get a trade in with the Arizona Cardinals um, because they're they're pretty much stuck, not stuck, but they're pretty much supporting Kyler Murray. Um, you know, may, maybe the Chargers at five, um, but at that point, you might as well stay where you are because five and six is still that. Um I don't think that three quarterbacks go in a row. So when I'm looking at that, when I'm looking at that Cardinal spot, that's probably that's probably the spot that you want to aim for if you want to try to trade up without it costing you an arm and a leg. So it'll cost you a lot. But here's the question. Again, you see the thumbnail. What if the New York Giants do not select a quarterback? What if? I'm going to add a word in front of that. So what? if the New York Giants don't draft a quarterback? That's my question, not to the Giants uh, organization. That's my question to the fan base. What happens if the New York Giants do not draft a quarterback? Now you have people that say, oh, I'm done with the Giants. You know, I, you know I'm, I'm finding another team if the New York Giants don't draft a quarterback. Do I believe these people? Probably not. You suffered long enough. If you've been a Giants fan for over 10 years, you have suffered long enough. It's not going to hurt for you to suffer a little bit longer. If the New York Giants do not draft a quarterback in the first round with the sixth pick or if they trade up, it's not the end of the world. I'm just here to say that to everybody. It is not the end of the world. Now, it's no secret. I want the New York Giants to draft a quarterback. I think a quarterback can get us over the hump. Y'all know how I feel about Daniel Jones. And I've been on a roller coaster ride, ups and downs, flipping and flopping when it comes to Daniel Jones. I backed Daniel Jones. You know, I was off the train. Then I backed him again. And now I'm off the train again. And this time I really believe that I'm off. He would have to do something spectacular. Coming back off, an, off a knee injury, he would have to take the New York Giants, not, not only to the playoffs, to, to almost the NFC uh, Championship in order for me to believe what I thought I believed before this season started, but for the past season started, um, yeah, it's just, it, would, it would take a lot, a lot. And I don't think that, especially with everything that's going on in the media, with the coaching, um, the rumblings and stuff like that, is he on the hot seat? Is he not on the hot seat? The GM, you know, saying that he rushed the process. He admitted, to, he admitted that. Is he going to go through another season without having that quarterback waiting in the back? And depending on the situation, he might not be waiting in the back. He might be a day one starter, depending on if Daniel Jones could come back off of this injury. And that's another main thing when it comes to this. But if the New York Giants, if the New York Giants did not draft a quarterback, that does not change anything for me. I might be a little bit more sad, um, a little bit less optimistic. I'm already not optimistic now, but I'm a little bit, you know, more pessimistic when it comes to the season um but i'm just sitting here like in all in all honesty when i really think about it if the new york giants do not draft a quarterback in the first round does that really mean that it's over does that really mean that the new york giants are going all in with daniel jones again you know it just depends to me um it depends you know if, if who they believe in first of all as a as a quarterback you know, everybody has their favorites. There's a consensus that it's Caleb Williams and Drake May and Jaden Daniels. And you can throw in Michael Penix. You know, you can throw in Bo Nix. You can throw in J.J. McCarthy. There's a lot of quarterbacks that a lot of people like. 
and not everybody is the same, but the consensus is Caleb Williams is all out number one quarterback in this draft. Some people might call him generational. I don't. I think he's very, very, very good. And the potential and his ceiling is very, very high. Um, when it comes to Drake May, I'm not as high on Drake May as other people are. Um, uh, I tweeted, might have been back in November. I was trying to, you know, pull up a video and compare Bo Nix to Mitch Trubisky. And I pulled up a highlight tape of Mitch Trubisky at North Carolina. Not even thinking about uh, Drake May at all in the situation, but I'm watching the Mitch Trubisky highlight. He's wearing number 10 for North Carolina, and all I can see is Drake May. I forgot what Mitch Trubisky looked like in North Carolina when he was coming out. That highlight tape, I was like, oh, wow. It, if, if, if I didn't know any better, it looks just like Drake May. And trust me, I know you guys are saying this guy's crazy. Go watch the video. Go watch the video. I'm not saying that Drake May is going to beat Tr Mitch, Mitch Trubisky. I'm just saying when I was going to try to make fun of Bo Nix about how much hype Bo Nix had, and I pulled up Mitch Trubisky's tape at North Carolina, it looks just like Drake May's highlight tape. But you guys can be the judge of that. It's on YouTube. Go ahead and search for it. It's right there. It is right there. You be the judge. It is what it is. Again, I'm not calling Drake May Mitch Trubisky. I'm just saying. And then I'm when I'm looking at Jaden Daniels, and everybody's trying to find a comp for Jaden Daniels. And um, I forget who it was. Somebody had mentioned. Remember what RG3 looked like coming out of college? So I went back and I watched RG3 in college. And sure enough. Jaden Daniels looks like RG3 coming out of college. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? So that's Mitch Trubisky, and then that's that's RG3. And you're looking at, okay, Jaden Daniels, Drake May. Again, that's me reaching, you know, Mr. Fantastic stretching when it comes to this situation. But I'm just saying, you know, what, you know, what I see when I'm looking at these certain players. And again, when RG3 came out, everybody thought he was good, thought he was gold. That first season was fantastic. He ended up getting hurt, and it just pretty much ended his career once his knees got taken from him. And then it is what it is after that. But again, so outside of the quarterback position, there's a lot of guys and a lot of holes for the New York Giants. Um, for me, in order, uh, as far as the importance of position going into this year's draft, because I do believe that guard is going to be um, – answered in free agency you know we're going to go ahead and take care of that in free agency there's some potential guys out there um i'll go ahead and do a video about uh free agents later on um once we get closer to uh free agency um but yeah i think that interior offensive line is going to be handled in free agency um but when, you, when i'm thinking about it if the new york giants do not draft a quarterback with the six pick in order of importance for me i think having another edge rusher opposite of Kayvon Thibodeau is very important. I also do believe that having a, a tackle is very, very important. So it goes quarterback, edge, offensive line, and then I'm going with the cornerback spot. Uh, cornerback, um, wide receiver, DT. Actually, I might put wide receiver in front of cornerback and DT. And then depending on the talent that's there at number six, you're probably looking more at a wide receiver than you are any other position, unless a guy like Fashano or old or sitting there at six which could absolutely happen but if you got a guy like neighbor sitting there at six uh if you have rome adunze at six and he might even drop a little bit further but you know it's going to be some guys there that are that are guaranteed blue chip starters for years to come so if the new york giants do not draft a quarterback it will not be the end of the world end of the world in my opinion just in my opinion um again like i said I'm, i've been I was off of Twitter this morning. They had issues with the spaces. Couldn't hear anybody talking, but I was reading through the timelines. And all I can see is the back and forth with a lot of people talking about, you know, the New York Giants are now backing Daniel Jones 100%. And again, this is going to be an exciting four months of misinformation, of guessing, hypothesis. Everybody's going to be coming out of the woodwork. Um, 
trying to figure out what the New York Giants are going to do. And we really will not know until draft night. Draft night. But again, I'm not doing, I'm not going overboard. I'm going to sit here and relax. I do believe that the New York Giants will draft the quarterback. But at the end of the day, when you look at this pros these prospects in that top 10, no matter what happens, and I know quarterback is the most important um, position in sports, but besides quarterback, there are some real game changers in this draft in the top 10, and the New York Giants will have a chance to get one of those guys. Absolutely. Um, no doubt in my mind. And hopefully, like I said, if that happens where the New York Giants do not draft a quarterback in the first round, um, hopefully one of these guys fall to the, to the second. If it's Bo Nix, if it's J.J. McCarthy, hopefully, maybe. I don't think it happens. I, I've been saying it for months now. I believe four quarterbacks go in the top ten. I believe um, I believe six can go, uh, maybe five now. Five can go in, in the first round. But, again, we'll, we'll, we will see what happens. We will see what happens with that An exciting four months. Everybody, make sure you have your seatbelt on. It's going to be a vigorous ride <laughs> so that's going to be the video i want to thank everybody for um, vibing with me please like comment and subscribe and from one giants fan to another this is big dash knows big blue nation let's go